Hey folks, today I want to show you how to take data from your data tables and use that information to populate a pre-formatted template. For example, an invoice template. For my example, I have two tables here. The top one is my order summary table. You can see that I have two orders from two separate customers. And the bottom table is my order details table. My first order consists of two items and my second order consists of three items. The final product is going to look like this. I'm going to have a drop down to let me select which order number I want to fill. And then I'll click on the fill invoice button. And you can see that the date, the customer ID, sales tax, and the two items automatically populates the uh, template. Let me change it to the second order and do it again. Okay, let me copy a blank one and we'll work from scratch. I'm going to copy this sheet over to the spreadsheet on the left side, just so I can work off of one spreadsheet. Okay, we don't need this one anymore. First thing I want to do is to get a drop down list here to show all my order numbers. For that, I'm going to use the data validation function to make a drop down list. But before I do that, let me hop over to my orders table. The drop down list is going to reference column A, the order ID column. What I need to make sure is that there is a named range for this data because this table will expand the more orders I get. Let me point my mouse right above the column header and select the data. Make sure I don't go too far up, otherwise I'm going to select the whole column. So right above the cell and then put a name for this column. I'm going to call this primary key order ID. Now this range has a name. We can double check by coming here. Let me click away. Okay. Go back to my invoice sheet. My order number cell is selected. I'm going to click on data validation. Select list. So in the source, what I'm going to do is hit the F3 key. This brings up everything that I have named in the spreadsheet. So the one that we want is the PK underscore order ID. Instead of hitting F3, I can simply type this in as well. Hit OK. And here's our drop down box. Let's see. OK. This is good. Now the next thing that I want to fill is the date, the order date. This is something I can fill using VLOOKUP equal VLOOKUP. The value that I'm looking up is the order ID. It's right behind the, uh, the pop-up hint. The table that I want to look at is my orders table. So I'm going to point at my orders table on the top left corner until the arrow turns 45 degrees and then I click. Yes, it's looking at my order summary table. When VLOOKUP finds the matching order ID, I want to return the order date, which is the second column in the table. Hit enter, automatically brings me back to my invoice sheet. This is good. Customer ID is going to be exactly the same thing, so let me do that very quickly. VLOOKUP, order number, my order summary table, customer ID is column three. Okay. Same thing for my sales tax. Let me just go through it. Order summary. My sales tax rate is column six. Okay, so that was the easy part. Now, to bring the order details, for example, if I have order two selected, I want these three items to automatically populate on my invoice. Since the number of items is variable, it depends on how many items the customer orders, this is something that I have to do using VBA. Go to my developer tab and open the Visual Basic editor. If you don't have a developer tab here, go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon. 
on the left side, find developer, click on add and it'll show up on the ribbon. I already have it. Open the Visual Basic Editor. I want to make sure that my code is inside this workbook. Double click on this. You can see on the top that I have this workbook selected. This is where I want my code to be. I'm going to name my function auto fill invoice. The first thing that I want to do is to get the order ID from the invoice sheet, since that is the value that's going to drive the autofill. Essentially, I want to grab the value of this cell, which I've already named invoice order ID. Let me declare a integer to hold the value. To get the value into this variable, I'm using the sheets function to get my sales invoice sheet. So I'm pointing to the sales invoice sheet, use the range object and give it the name invoice order ID. This should be able to get the value into my variable. Let me print that to uh, make sure it works. To see the uh, printout, I need to go to view. Immediate. Let me clear this. So I'm going to hit F5 to run the code, or you can click on the triangle here. Okay, so it's able to grab the uh, it's able to grab the order ID. Let's move on. Next, I need to get a reference to my order detail table. A list object data type represents an Excel table. And now to point my variable to the table itself. I'm using the sheets function to get the order sheet and then the list objects function to get the order detail object. Order detail is also a named object. It refers to this table. Now I want to filter the order details table based on the order ID that is selected on the invoice sheet. I'm calling order detail dot range dot auto filter auto filter are these drop downs right here. I'm filtering on column two, which is the order ID column. And I'm filtering it by the invoice ID that I just grabbed from the code above, which is pointing to order two right now. So when I hit F5 right now, I expect this list to be filtered by order 200,002. Hit F5, this works. Now I want to bring in this data and bring it into VBA. Let me declare an object to hold that data. It's going to be an array, so I'm declaring a variant. I'm calling order detail dot data body range. Data body range returns the data in the body. And then I need to call special cells and pass it cell type visible in order to return only what's visible on the screen right now. I'm going to loop through order detail data and print out column four, which is the product name. Hit F5. Okay, you can see at the bottom here that it printed the three plants that's shown on the screen right here. Okay, now that we have the data that we want to copy over to the info sheet, I'm gonna get a reference to this table here. So this in itself is also a Excel table and it's called invoice detail. It's gonna be similar to the order detail object. I'm gonna call it invoice detail and it's also a list object. I'm going to set the invoice detail object to the list object in the sales invoice sheet. This should be capital. Now before copying data into this table, I want to delete what's already in the invoice detail table in case there are data in there. So I'm checking the data body of the invoice detail table. If it's not empty, then call the delete function and that should delete all the rows in this table. I'm going to run it right now. You can see that it deleted the extra rows. 
Now we are ready to copy the data from the order detail into the invoice detail. So using the for loop, I'm going to add a new row to the invoice detail table. Let me declare this variable. After adding a new row, I'm going to copy the quantity over. Range 1 is the first cell, is equal to order detail data, column 6. Column 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the quantity column. Okay, let's run the code, make sure it works. F5. We can see that the quantities for those three rows are copied over. Let's do the same thing for the rest of the columns. We're going to fill item number, description, and unit price. I'm going to hit F5. All right. Let me resize this. These are formulas already existing in the table. And it should match what we have over at the order summary table. So order 2000 and order 200,002. The total is 237.07, 237.07. Okay, now we just need a button to click to activate the autofill. Under developer tab, click on insert. Select the button control under form control. And then I'm going to draw the button right next to the order ID. We're going to get a pop-up that's going to ask us to associate the button click to a function. So I'm going to select the function that we just created. Hit OK. Right click on the button, edit text. Let's name this autofill. Okay, now if I click autofill, it should execute my function. Okay, seems to work. Let me change my order ID to order one. Hit autofill. And we can see that the order details came over. All right, it looks like we're good. If you learned something today, please consider subscribing and please give the video a like. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments. See you in the next one.